the executive chef at Farm Cafe. Um, I am originally from Belmont, but I've lived in Boone most of my adult life because like a lot of people, I came here to go to school and never left because I love it. I love the mountains. This particular venture came about, I was working as a chef at a fine dining uh, resort restaurant over in Bowen Rock. I had a friend who was an executive chef at another restaurant and then my minister, we were all talking, what's something we could do that's different than a soup kitchen? Could we do a culinary program? And one of our church members said uh, about two weeks later, I saw this article and thought y'all might be interested. And it was about One World Cafe in Salt Lake City, Utah. So that's how that idea sprang up for us. And when we first read the article, particularly Andy and I, Andy Long and I, as chefs said, that's just the stupidest thing I've ever seen. You know, no prices, uh, no set, no set cost, uh, volunteer labor, that's never gonna work in the food business. But when we read it and started reading how the model worked and what the load waste and the composting and how you could control it and the pay-as-you-can venture, we really did think maybe it could work, maybe it could work. So all we did was we got together with Shelly Wilson, our minister, and we just threw the idea out. Um, it was like, this doesn't need to be something that just comes out of a church. This needs to be everybody. This just can't be something from one community. It needs to be a huge community involvement. So we just went to the public library and put ads in the paper and said, if you're interested in this idea, come to this meeting. And that's how it started. And that was in 2009. So it took us three years to build enough ground support to do it. But that's kind of how it started. So for me, this combined two things. I always worked in food while I was going to school. I always cooked. I went back to culinary school after I got my master's in history. And I was like, this is something I could do that combines two things that I care about, which is working with people, teaching people, um, and learning from people, but also doing something that helps me the needs of hunger in our community. And I, to me, the most important part, and I say this to people all the time, is people always ask, are you sure that the people come in there, that they're not gonna, you know, if they don't get a meal there, they're gonna starve. I don't think they're gonna starve. And I say, there's lots of ways for people to be hungry. There are people who come here that I know that's the only meal they eat that day. I know there are single mothers that come in here with children. I know that's the only food those children are getting that day, maybe for the next two days. But what I know more than anything is that the people that come in here are getting something fed beyond just a meal. They're getting a sense of community. They're getting a sense of being part of something that's bigger than themselves and getting to participate with each other. And to me, that's the most important thing about being on the planet. I can't think of any other reason for us to exist other than to be codependent and helping each other. That word always has such negative connotation, but there's nothing wrong with being codependent in ways that help sustain each other.